Hey guys, it's Jacqueline here. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, so today I'm going to do sort of a part two of my winter haul. I did so much shopping, I, I'm not going to lie, like I did a lot before Christmas and then after Christmas for Boxing Day and all the sales after that. So I have quite a bit to show and um, yeah, but do keep in mind that not all this was bought at, at one time. It's probably over the span of like the past um, one month. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So to start off a small and then get bigger, I guess. Um, uh, an accessory that I purchased was this really cute um, statement necklace. I really like the colors that is displayed on this necklace. So it's a bit of black, um, emerald greens, and gold. And I think the color uh, combination is really nice. And I love to wear this with sort of like a plainer top or sweater and add this on. And it just instantly gives the outfit more of that glamorous look. Um, so yeah, this necklace was purchased at... Um, it was purchased at Indigo, which is kind of random that they carry jewelry there since it's a bookstore. But um, yeah, they actually have quite quite a bit of stuff, um, like, so, like rings and bracelets too. So check that out because I think they have maybe an exclusive designer that da designs for them. Um, but they have really nice stuff. Um, I also finally bought a hat. The last, I think the last haul, I was like asking people where I could get a nice sort of floppy winter hat. And I finally found one. This one is by the brand... David and Young. I actually love this. It's 100% wool and has this sort of little bow um, on the side here, if you can see. I actually got this from Winter, so it was a great price. I think this was only, I only paid about $20 for it, but um, I've been wearing this a lot. It kind of looks weird since I have like a clip at the back of my head right now, but um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, it doesn't really keep my head warm at all, but um, I think it's a really nice fashion accessory uh, to wear for the winter. Uh, so moving on to a bit of the clothes that I bought. I bought this blazer from H&M um, a while back actually, um, but it's just this black blazer. But what I really love about this is that it has these like really interesting jewels at on the uh, on the arms of it. I think it gives that more of a vintage look and um, really plays up a just plain black blazer. I definitely wouldn't wear this for a professional use, I don't think, but more of a business casual or... Um, fun playful event type of thing. Um, this kind of plays as an extra accessory instead of wearing bracelets just to have this on your arm. I also sort of had this spree at like Club Monaco because it's one of my favorite stores but um, it can get pretty pricey sometimes so they were having quite huge sales um, before Christmas as well as during the Boxing Day week so I, I picked up quite a few things. The first thing I picked up were these um, leather leggings this is more of a maroon purple color and I've been looking for something like this for a really long time so I thought I would just jump on it and buy it. Um, it has the full leather on the front and then more of that, um, I don't know what you want to call the back of this, like an elastic feel back and just a huge band on the top. So these are really comfortable, um, really nice for the fall springtime too um, and this is actually one of my favorite colors so I really liked it. Um, also from Club Monaco, I sort of had this thing where I purchased almost like the same shape top in so many different patterns and colors. And I don't know why I didn't realize that until now. But I really like that shift top boxy look right now. So this is the first one I bought and this is like a sort of royal blue. The material is beautiful. It's super soft. So that's something I can always count on for Club Monaco to be like really good quality and the materials to be really up to par. Um, but this is really nice. It has like little pockets here at the front here, if you can see. They're like fake pockets, so you can't really put your hands in them. But um, I like this sort of longer sleeve look. It's not really a t-shirt, but it's not really a long sleeve, so it's really interesting. And so I think something like this with like a statement necklace that I kind of just showed would be really nice on top of either like leggings or tapered pants. So this is one of them. This is the royal blue one. Um, then I also got more of this interesting pattern. It's like not a usual color that I would wear, but it's like a mustard gold color. And it also has a pocket here, but again, more of that boxy um, shift top kind of feel. This is more of a t-shirt form um, with the sleeves and a lighter material. Um, but this is a really interesting pattern and I think plays up a, an outfit um, simply just with the pattern um, that it is. So that's like the mustard color. And I think mustard is really in, uh, especially sort of with like maroon tones or black tones. Um, I think it looks really nice. Um, another one that I got is this 
more of this interesting look. It's kind of has a tweedish material, but it, it's a little bit of a sparkle in it. So this is like a white, navy blue and teal color, but it's just uh, no details on the front, but it's like more, again, that boxy t-shirt look. The back is interesting though, because the back has sort of this white lining down the back with a button at the top. So again, these like pattern tops, even though it has quite a bit of pattern, the dimension and the shape of it is quite plain. So it's nice to play up if you want to add some accessories like necklaces on them. Um, and also these look really nice if you just want to wear some leggings and heels on top. Um, it's sort of my favorite look right now. The last up I got um, from Club Monaco is this black and gray one. So I love the sort of color blocking that this top has. Um, it has sort of the panels on the sides here, which kind of slims down your body. Um, but this is a much thicker material. And so those are sort of the clothing items that I purchased um, throughout sort of the winter holidays. <laughs> on top of that, I actually went a lot of kind of like shoe crazy. I don't know how that happened, but I actually have five new pairs of shoes over the span of the month that I purchased. So um, yeah, I'll just get right into it. So the first one I got were these like black booties and I've been looking for black booties for a while. Um, these I got for such a great deal. This is by the brand called Expression. Um, I got it from the Bay and I think this sort of extra gold tone on the heel is really interesting and it gives that shoe that extra like sort of glam and classy look. Um, so the heel length is perfect. This is just about two inches. This is perfect for me for an everyday wear. Um, this is not real leather though, um, but this was only, it only came up to about $35, so I thought that was an, an amazing deal. I got some really cute pumps from Ralph Lauren. These were at the outlets in Seattle, so they came up to be a really good deal. It has a wooden heel, so it gives it more of that casual um, look. This, this is like my ideal heel length. It's about three and a half inches to four inches. Um, but I think this color, this more of this camo color, is really classy and in these days. Um, it's really nice to wear with sort of tapered pants um, or even capris during the summertime. So these are, these are real leather and they're super comfortable to walk in. And the heel, because it's not like a stiletto stiletto, it's actually pretty comfortable to walk in. I also got a pair from Nine West and these are a darker brown. And so kind of similar to the last one, although it's a little bit more pointy and the heel is matches the color, so it's a dark brown heel. But it's the same heel length and it is also real leather. So again, really, really comfortable to wear. Um, the last two pairs of shoes, um, I kind of went crazy because I've been looking for sort of loafer style heel uh, shoes for a really long time. And so I found um, a pair at Vince Camuto and I ended up buying them in two different colors because I thought they were a really good price and I also fell in love with the shoe. So here's the shoe and it has it's a black loafer t type with some like fake tassels here. But I really like the shape of the shoe but also this extra sort of detail that they included with the with the piping. Um, so this is the black and gray one. It is real leather too so it feels really nice and it's really comfortable. The inside is super cute. It has sort of this quilt inside, which definitely makes it um, more comfortable and also really classy looking. So I got the black one as well as more of this beige color. It's like a, it's like a rose pink undertone beige. So it's really nice. And that lining, um, of course, has the black, which I think matches really nicely. So these are sort of going to be my go-to footwear for the spring, summertime. Not really the winter since it's still snowing outside. Uh, but yeah, so I really love these shoes. I think it'll go with a lot of things. Um, and you can dress it up and dress it down easily too. Okay, so the last thing that was so unnecessary for me to buy, but I just couldn't hold myself back, was, um, was a purse from Kate Spade that I got from the, the premium outlets in Seattle. Um, it's this really beautiful sort of boxy white purse. I think it's really cute. Um, the inside looks like this. It has a zipper inside and it has two sides to sort of put your things in. It fits my laptop, which is perfect. Um, I don't know how scared I'm going to be to carry this out since it's white, but I just fell in love with it and it was the last one, so I had to take it. <laughs> So yeah, this is the last purchase I got and I think it's going to be the last one for a while. I 
cannot afford to buy anything else. So I don't know when the next time a haul is going to come around. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, sort of end of winter haul. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was and um, any sort of new fashion trends that you guys have been looking at for the winter. I'd love to hear it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.